excited to welcome you to this special concert coming live from the Harmonious Choral Ghana. Yes, it's the festival of praise and worship and we call it the virtual concert. In the wake of COVID-19 with its attendant matters, we've been challenged on many fronts. And one of such is our inability to connect with you physically, even as we present to you our renditions of hymns, psalms, and spiritual songs. But thanks to technology, we're able to connect to you right in the comfort of your homes. The reason for which we call it the virtual experience. When we we planned to stage this concert, um, rehearsal schedules were the things of a concern. And then we actually were worried about how we we're going to manage things and all of that. But our welfare team, they were always on top. The choir has put in a lot. Uh, members, those who were scouted to join the team, um, 23 man squad, we have been I mean, ready for this, we have been going for rehearsal, trying to learn our lines well and everything. And then yesterday we were here for our dress rehearsal. I can assure you that the choir is very, very much ready and it's going to be super. Having this opportunity to have the first ever virtual concert with the Harmonious Chorale. It's something that, well, for once, I have not thought about it. It comes as a total new package for myself and then for the choir as well. We had to put in a lot as compared to our regular concert due to the pandemic that we had. Uh, mentally, we, we were not so sure at the beginning that we were even going to get to this far, but it took the grace of God for us to be able to travel from each location to rehearsal every now and then, having rehearsal, sometimes spending so many hours during each session just to have this concert today. Uh, for today, I, I'm not expecting nothing but the best because looking at what we have done and then the prayers that have been said, I know God is on our side. Rehearsing for this concert has been wonderful. It's been with a smaller group and it's been under very, very hygienic circumstances and it's been wonderful. Today there's no audience and it's really interesting. I look forward to that feeling and I hope that people back at home can feel the joy and excitement that we feel singing to them in their houses, like without them here. I hope that we're able to break that barrier and just move the music from ourselves to them. That's what I hope for today. This concert, we've come a long journey preparing for this concert. It's, it's been weeks of good and tight preparation. Some difficult, some going through very well for us. But you know, God has been good to us. And I think I'm very, very ready for this concert. Um, knowing that it's a virtual concert makes it quite... Um, <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but... It's, it's unprecedented. I've never participated in a concert of that sort before. So I'm just hoping that it goes well. Looking at how sound check went, I felt like we had people around us. So I still feel the audience around us. So I'm hoping that those watching us from home would enjoy the concert and enjoy it like how they've always been enjoying it at the auditorium. My name is Elizabeth Wachi. I am a member of the choral management team and one of the technical directors for this production. Um, preparation has been okay. Um, the choristers were very committed to. We've been preparing for the past six weeks and um, we are just taking it just as one of our rehearsals, only that this is a more serious rehearsal because we don't have any audience and uh, we are not also doing the kind of PA people we know for our audience. So this one is more like a rehearsal to me. 
Uh, my expectation is that we are going to bless souls. People will be touched wherever they are, people will be blessed, people will be happy, at least we'll cheer people up. But the season we are in is not very interesting for a lot of people, for all of us. Um, so we are just trying to cheer people up. So my expectation is that people will sit glued to their machines, phone, computers, and then enjoy us. That's all. So without further ado, we want to go straight into the first segment, which is going to be hymns of praise, hope, and adoration. So ladies and gentlemen, with hearts full of joy, and a round of applause from the comfort of your homes, help me to welcome the Harmonious Choral Ghana. said we were going to interview some ardent patrons, fans, supporters of Harmonious Choral and get their experience of Festival of Praise and Worship Virtualist um, edition as they are watching it right from the comfort of their home. So I'm here um, in the home of ASP Samuel Nyante with a wife and then they'll be sharing their experience with us so far. Sir, so, thank you so much for allowing us into your home. You're welcome. Sir. So, how is the concert going so far for you? Uh, it's not bad. I can say we are enjoying as we are sitting in the home because we didn't know it would come on. And we are surprised to see the whole concert coming on. As always being in the conference center or whatever, uh, Accra Center of uh, ACC, whatever they call it. Yeah. So, I was happy when my son told me that it will come on YouTube. So I told him to do whatever you can do for me to watch as I'm sitting in the house. So he did it. And I'm glad you are here for me to know that I'm part of you. And I'm enjoying whatever is going on. Kwanu manage mo pa nti yare ne bae no. In fact I hire nti e no ka se o mo koye program no nti ye nhwe no. Nti e no ana ne yeguso aye hwe amosomo de bae. Nti ye de pai bon so ta mo achi se bibia be ye ye. Near to me, I see a Nina at your double doom, maybe be answer or so fine. And I, I like the way you are organizing yourselves to do certain for us to enjoy. We do that, we, we are uh, allergic to this. Uh, I see that's what I was saying to this music. We we'll always be happy to get certain to watch. So we thank you very much to organize certain. So once again, we have the unique opportunity to visit the home of Mr. Fleischer Brock 
and we are currently in the movie room where they are watching festival of praise and worship virtual experience he has been an ardent follower of harmonious chorale he has been to several of our concerts and we want to buy his thoughts and for him to share his mind and experience on this virtual edition of festival of praise and worship uh, please what can you tell us about today's experience it is it is really 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 a uh, great experience to have you in my home especially in these days where everything is limited and i can sit in the comfort of my home and I still enjoy harmonious chorale because i remember during the lockdown days uh, i was locked up in london and the weekend uh, program that came, we really enjoyed it. And we missed it when uh, the, the connections are not right. But most of the time, we have it and everybody enjoys it. This is perfect because the sound is as if you are with them in, in the, in, I mean, on the screen to see. Because if, especially if you have a surround sound, and you sit within it. You pick every part of the uh, of the voices, and then the instruments too are just perfect. So I think, in in effect, it is good to have it. And we, we shouldn't say that we'll stop it. Maybe when COVID is gone, once in a while we should enjoy such things. Yes, but of course, like Auntie Joy said, you miss out on the clapping. But we can still clap. And then maybe this time incorporate it with either Zoom or uh, Google Meet, where individuals in their homes will, will clap and then you see their reactions. And then it will also pep um, the choir up. You are really doing well. So I'm here in the home of Mr. Albert Luchot and who always, always comes for harmonious choral events, be it at the National Theatre, Conference Centre, wherever, he's always present. But for the very first time, he's watching us live from the comfort of his home. So we want him to share his experience with us on Festival of Praise and Worship virtual. I've always loved watching the program live. But um, with the COVID-19, which has come to take us on our ways, um, we have no option but to deal with it as it is. Now, we're watching this program virtual, and um, I think it's okay. Um, so far, in the comfort of my home, I wouldn't have to take a car to drive to wherever it's held to watch harmonious chorale and listen to their harmonious um, music. So, so far, I think I've enjoyed it to this extent. And um, COVID or no COVID, uh, harmonious chorale is always harmonious chorale and we'll enjoy it, their programs. I'm Catherine Luchot, a member of the Harmonious Chorale, and I sing all too. So today, unfortunately, due to COVID, I can't join the choir on stage. I have to watch virtually from home, but I must say it's been a very wonderful experience, at least for once. I also get to watch people singing, and it's not that I am on stage and people watching me. And I must say that kudos to the team. They've done so well. And the program is going on so, so well. I'm enjoying myself so much at home. And I just want to say everyone should stay safe so that we'll meet next time on stage at a bigger program. Um, I'm watching um, the program live home. And I must say so far it has been awesome. And yeah, it has been awesome. And I urge you to stay safe. And then we love you.
time like this, during a pandemic that we have not experienced in our generation, um, I, I couldn't bring myself to a point of thinking that a choir here in Ghana could put together something as splendid as this. And I mean, I was personally honored to be the one to anchor the entire production. It's been amazing from beginning to end. The music, I mean, from the voices as well as from the instruments, the production team. I mean, I got the benefit of being behind the camera. so. I get to see all that happened during the production and you could clearly see that proper planning had gone into this. Albeit, I mean, within a very short time. I'm learning all of this was put together within a space of just six weeks. So you, you could tell that the team actually put their wheels to the grind and they got things happening. And I mean, it goes without saying it was a wonderful, it was a wonderful experience, yes. Our hearts have been blessed. I believe that we've all been blessed in our homes. It took so much hard work from the team, from the instrumentalist, from the director, the executive director himself, who always eats, dreams, and greets Harmonious Corral. The man doesn't sleep. And we want to thank him for all the efforts he puts in. Personally, I've been blessed. I don't feel like going on stage again. I, I had lots of messages. I can't see you, I can't see you. Why are you not on stage? But the experience was different. It was totally different. It was awesome to be in that mood and, and be in high spirits and experience this virtual concert. Was at the back working behind the scenes to make sure everything was working well. It is all glory to God. It is God who made this possible for us to come to you in your homes. We are blessed and we believe that you've been blessed as well. Um, I'm part of the COVID-19 Tax Force. I'm actually the consultant for the COVID-19 Tax Force. What we had to do for rehearsal was that we needed to keep everybody and everyone safe in these COVID-19 times. So we, we had to put some lay down rules so that our members come for rehearsal and we made sure that our members were safe. Hello, my name is Yannis Ufori and I'm with Jobo Licenses Limited. I'm the lighting designer for Harmonious Choral. I've been with Harmonious for about four years, working from Conference Centre to National Theatre to PIWC, ATTC. Now, considering the fact that we're doing the virtual concert because we can't have many people in our auditorium, picking a space is very difficult. Fortunately, we had the parish here to help us with that. Um, but things like cameras and the technical aspects of it do not reduce because of the situation at hand. So you still have to, knowing that you're working with a limited budget, really work, really cap in hand, getting people to support us, and then we can produce a good show for you guys back home. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope everything went well. And we hope you continue to support the Harmonious Choral Ghana. My name is Michael Bidiako. I work with the team from Iron Maiden Craft. My name is Talan Kitty. I work with the team from Take Two Films. I feel this production was put together in 48 hours, from design to execution. And Stanley set up. I was very expectant. I knew something good was going to happen. So I was geared up and we had to make it work. And that was it. This, this experience has been great. Having a feeling somebody is out there listening to you from different parts of the world is a very overwhelming thing. I would like to thank everybody who has watched this concert. Preparation towards this concert hasn't been easy in this era that we are, COVID-19 and everything. Protocols that we are observing, wearing of masks and all that during rehearsal, very difficult. But by the grace of God, we have been able to come out successful. We want to, we want to see a very big thank you to God and also our audience out there. The music touched my heart. My hope was relieved in this trying circumstance and I am sure that those at home as well watching had their hopes revived. It's been an interesting journey. It's been a learning experience. Um, I was home, I was reading all about coronavirus and all that, but when director told us that it was time for us to hold a virtual concert, it was time for us to actually come together as a team and do a lot of research onto how we can safely have a concert and safely produce a virtual concert for you all. So we followed the protocols to 
the letter. At rehearsals, our director was always in his mask together with our organist. We made sure that the place was sanitized every time after rehearsals and also observed our social distancing. Uh, mon expérience par rapport à, à ce concert virtuel, tout ce que je peux dire, c'est que c'était magnifique. On s'est bien amusé, on a chanté avec notre cœur et on a offert toutes ces chansons-là pour les personnes qui sont décédées au, par rapport au Covid qui a sévi pendant cette, toute cette année. Donc maintenant, on veut rendre grâce à Dieu pour la vie qu'il nous donne aujourd'hui, d'être présent encore sur cette terre. This virtual experience is one in a million. It was actually the first experience ever. It was the best experience I've ever had. Um, it was tiring actually to prepare for, but God has his ways of doing things and then it just went very perfect. We we had a very good time. Yeah, it was the best show ever. I must say I'm very happy, extremely happy about the turnout of events this evening. It's been marvelous and the concert has been spotless. From instrumentalist to choristers, everything has been so perfect. We thank God for that. From the instrumentalist corner, we had a series of rehearsals. I mean, we've had rehearsals that went into the night and we had to sustain through. And God has been so good to us. It's not, it's not easy leading a team of very, very great talent, you know, Keyboardists, everybody is a talent on their own, big guys and brass to their big guys, you know, from symphony orchestra and all. But uh, we've been able to put ourselves together to make it work, and it was so exciting working with all the other guys. And I must say, God has been gracious to us, and we really had fun today. Actually, this is my first time having a virtual concert, and the, the experience was great. I, there was no audience, but you could feel the, the vibe in whatever we were doing. It was so lovely and I hope you audience you also enjoyed it. So stay tuned for our next concert. Um, I have been the director of events since our fifth anniversary and we are in our 13th year. Uh, in a year we hold like four productions. That's it, um, four concerts. And this time we have to put in lot of ideas, creative ideas, you know, to create content, to engage our audience back home. So it, it, it has been really tough, but we thank God for a very successful production. And it has been an experience. I have, I have learned so many things. So um, we are looking forward to more um, virtual concerts in the future. Because hey, nobody knows when Corona is going, but I thank God for my wonderful team. The virtual experience has been a wonderful, wonderful experience. With the inversion of COVID-19, everything has turned digital. And I agree with the Harmonious Choral when we said we wanted to have the virtual experience. It's been such an awesome journey. Um, six weeks of solid rehearsal whilst respecting the safety protocols in place also. It has afforded us the opportunity to learn the new ways of living now and to have a good time in the presence of the Lord with my fellow choiristers. COVID-19 is here. Um, it has been a long ride down from about much thereabouts coming to now and it's still around but we give glory to God for sustaining us and for giving us life. For, here, for us here at Harmonious Choral, we take delight in sharing the gospel of Christ through music with everybody and tonight it has been very exciting. I've really enjoyed the program. I've worshipped and there were very emotional moments in there for me as well. But we are very grateful that God gave us this opportunity to share with you, to comfort those of us who have lost loved ones and those of us who have been infected by the COVID-19. And we pray that the Lord himself will heal each and every one of you. We cannot wait to see you and host you to a concert face to face. But for now, stay safe. We love you as Christ loved us. Hello, oh, I'm so happy. I am very happy today, you know. Um, on stage, Performing without an audience, technically it could even affect you, but I don't know, I was not affected, the choir was not affected, I mean, we had our balance, we enjoyed singing together, it was a rehearsal, and um, uh, we pray that very soon things take shape and then we can meet our audience together, but still, it wasn't bad. When I finished, I just checked and we had a live view worship of 8,700 and something, and that is wonderful for a small group 
like us. Uh, some people who say that we are not small. That is true. We thank God for how far He brought us. And today was a wonderful day. I really enjoyed our art run. I am happy. And I, I pray for God's protection. God should continue protecting us, protecting this world. Harmonious chorale, sing unto the Lord. My dear friends and music lovers, it's so wonderful to be in your homes once again, or wherever you are watching us. We are in the new normal. You can see I'm even fiddling with my, my mask. But I'm deliberately wearing the mask because that is the new normal. If we want to fight coronavirus and make sure that it does not destroy us, then there are certain things we need to do. It's not only about washing our hands with soap and running water. It is also about wearing masks. It is also about social distancing and taking all the precautions that are necessary. These and other things we must take into consideration. And the reason why I'm having a chat with you is that going forward for the year 2020, Harmonious Chorale is going to be with you virtually. It's not because I'm a prophet of doom or because I think or we think that the COVID-19 will not go away, but we are applying God's wisdom. All the scientists and the medical people and WHO tell us that we're going to have to live with COVID-19 for a while. So whilst we are living with it, we also want to make sure that we don't create a situation where COVID-19 will be spread through our activities. We sing, and when we sing, a lot of droplets come out of us. So, until the end of 2020, our concerts will be virtual. That is the new normal for the times we live in. Naturally, our prayer is that God, in his infinite compassion, will lift the burden of the pandemic. But what we know is that going back to the time where we did things the way we've been doing all this time is going to take some time. So beloved, we're going to meet virtually. We're grateful for listening to our concept, the Full Power 4 Virtual Edition. We were happy that you enjoyed it, and we're happy to meet you again. I need to adjust my mask, you see, because I want to do the right thing all the time. So we'll be with you again, God willing, in October. We're going to have a concert called Ghana, Our Motherland. And then naturally, for Christmas, trusting God to use us to contribute towards the fight against COVID-19. One of the reasons why we're going virtual is that even if the burden lifts, it is not going to lift right away and concerts will have to be done with small numbers so instead of going to hire a hall and doing administration with only a few of you why don't we do it with a lot of you at the same time that's our new normal for 2020 god willing in 2021 we will see how the Lord leads us so that we can together always use choral music to minister to God 
and as we minister to him, for him to bless us and bless others through us. You know our, our motto, harmonious choral, sing unto the Lord. So even though you see me virtually, when I see harmonious choral, shout wherever you are, sing unto the Lord. Let's go again. Harmonious choral, sing unto the Lord. Let's continue singing unto the Lord. Amen. <laughs> 